This character carved the name for himself out of stone. Miracles. Stony forms and faces. Critters. Women. Sculpted by Tennessee's most famed artist, who claimed his works were visions from God. The unmistakable art of a man with an unforgettable face. William Edmondson. The son of former slaves, Edmondson was born in Nashville, Tennessee around 1874. He helped his family work the Compton Plantation, which once stood on the land where Green Hills Mall is today. During the Great Depression, Edmondson, now in his 50s, unemployed and illiterate, fabricated his own carving tools and chipped away at greatness. He started his artistic career carving limestone into gravestones. Uh, he was out here chiseling these things with the old railroad tie that he had had when he worked on the railroad. He didn't have an actual ch chisel, you know. Professor Bobby Lovett has studied the life of Edmondson. He says, at first, Edmondson sold the gravestones out of his yard as a way to make a living. He was not an educated man. He couldn't read and write. And even on his tombstones, he would have people bring what they wanted on the tombstone written on a piece of paper. The erratic carving of names and dates is now the hallmark of an Edmondson. The stones, which once dotted the hillsides of local cemeteries, are now gone, stolen for their value, or claimed by families who've donated the monuments to private collections. But Edmondson's limestone creations would take on new forms. Uh, he believed that God gave him some visions, and he took these visions and he put them into stone. Edmondson's work continued to evolve. His yard of sculptures captured the attention of a professor who walked by Edmondson's home on 14th Avenue South. The professor was instrumental in piquing the interest of the local and New York art world in Edmondson. Harper's Bazaar photographer Louise Dahl Wolf photographed Edmondson, who, to his surprise, became somewhat of a local celebrity. Photographs of Edmondson brought more attention to his work. In 1937, Edmondson was the first African American artist to have a one man show at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Edmondson did not attend the exhibition. He left Nashville only once in his lifetime to attend a family funeral. He never married and lived out his life with his sister Sarah in his home, which is where Merle Elementary School stands today. Edmondson died in 1951. He never lived to enjoy wealth or to understand that he would be known as the greatest self-taught sculptor of the 20th century. Edmondson, who found his art by carving gravestones, is laid to rest somewhere in Nashville's Mount Ararat Cemetery in an unmarked grave. The Cheekwood Museum of Art is home to the largest public collection of Edmondson's work.